Greetings everyone, and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I have acquired an actual skin that is not just one of the ones that comes with the game when you buy it. Uh, there will be a link to the skin in the description, and I will probably uh, change it up occasionally just for my own sanity. Uh, mm -hmm. So to the one dude who made the Max Sterner skin in Minecraft and got one upvote on that site, uh, thank you for your work. I, I appreciate it. Good stuff. So yeah, uh, we're back. And, uh, let's see, last episode was story time, which was fine, but we're, we're not gonna do, uh, or I, I'm not gonna, you know, fill the channel with nothing but my personal musings. So, let's consult, uh, the project book. What is in here? Stonehouse, which is this building. Uh, I wanted to build a hut, and then, yeah, we're out of pages. Okay. So, but, uh, let's see. The first thing, oh man, a little, little, little scattered still today. First thing is that uh, we have some new new comment people left comments that need to be added to the hall of comments. Uh, so for those who just found this video, uh, there's this thing I've been doing for uh, anyone that leaves a comment, where if you leave a comment, I put your name in this hallway, and you will be immortalized. And uh, it helps me remember who's who to a degree, because like Evocate Onions keeps coming back talking stuff it's nice uh kz is someone that i i watch who started watching my stuff occasionally and he's a pretty good dude and so yeah the list just kind of gross and uh that kind of thing so yeah from uh, let's see so we'll start here with cool man i think they're ones it's hard to tell in youtube's uh thing whether a one or an l or a capital l but cool man 24 five and uh don't have any uh particular like extra messages to add so i'm just gonna put thank you on the board why try oh why try why try tr3183 yep and we'll keep going down here let's see rice the master dash um, uc 7 jk oh no it doesn't fit Dash UC7JK. I guess you can have uh, really long names. There we are. I'm very cool. And Ohio Resident. So yeah, uh, there you guys all are. So uh, if you're watching this one in the future, or in the, the, yeah, the future of this recording, past of our relative time streams, thank you for uh, leaving your comments and uh, hanging out on the channel and watching the videos. Uh, without, without comments and other feedback, I have no idea, like, if I'm really being watched, or if bots are scraping the first minutes of the video, or what's happening, like, so it's good to know that there are humans, humans out there who are enjoying, uh, this series, and whatever, whatever the, the, that I bring, whatever it is that I bring to, uh, Minecraft on YouTube. So yes, thank you all for watching, we'll have you bareface there, yep. Alright, so now, uh, we can launch over into the, uh, the meat of the episode. Let me just go put these signs back in the... Uh, actually... Oh, what was that noise? Oh my god, there's an enderman in my house. What do I do? He's up there. We'll just keep him. He can He can live. We'll teleport away eventually, right? I don't know. I don't know if he actually will. Oh, I don't have a shovel. We'll probably need a shovel. We'll take this one. And my diamond pickaxe is mostly broken. Okay, I had planned. Uh, that's why I brought... Oh, there we go. To kind of situate things here. We also need uh, torches. Just... Before we get too involved in anything we might do. Okay, so I think this episode we're gonna go down to the mines, uh, because... Oh, and did I show you guys the roof? Uh, the roof is up there. Let me, um, let me get us up to, like, a, a viewing angle of the roof. This is what I do to get those wide shots, is I actually just... I do it all in-game. I don't have, uh... So yeah, this is our roof. Uh, this isn't a very very flattering angle, but I just kind of built up a little pyramid and then did a triangle on top. The tower kind of got subsumed in the, uh, the build-up of the last bit, but that's okay. It just still breaks up the shape a bit. So yeah, we'll, uh, go back down. <laughs> but I have been writing down lists of, uh, video topics, and today I wanted to talk about, uh, a few things there, there are many ways to go about playing Minecraft, and you may have noticed uh, that there are things I am not doing. Uh, obviously, I'm not speedrunning to the end to get stuff. Uh, I didn't really rush down to get a bunch of diamonds. I haven't made any kind of redstone or automated farm redstone-related anything. Uh, no, like, mob killer 
not even an automated like pig feeder or any any of that stuff that you can do in current Minecraft. Just walking around the house from different angles. Oh, hello, Enderman. I'm glad you're enjoying the house. You can live with me for now. So you mess it up. So yeah, and here's the roof from another angle. Uh, and there's the little, little tower chimney thing. Uh, and I capped the little side pillars with stone just so that they hopefully don't get lightning striked. I think it only comes from directly above. And I still need to figure out something to do with the um the facings in general. Uh but there is a particular uh way or DAO, if you will, of how I have been playing Minecraft. Uh and the main thing about that is I'm not I'm trying to not to rush through anything. Like enjoy the phases of the game, uh for one, and if I don't uh, need something, I haven't really gone for it. And even the things that I have needed, like leather, uh, I've not automated. I have other games that I play uh, to enjoy the process of automation. Uh, I could go play the Tekkit mod pack again for that, or I could just play Factorio, which does all of that kind of stuff way better than Minecraft, uh, both hardware-wise and just in gameplay reward feedback. Ooh, flag. We found new chunks. So, uh, and I've seen other YouTubers that do amazing, uh, amazing work. However, they they do it all with farms and stacks of 20 chests and, you know, occasionally like friends that help them set up stuff. And I like the friends part. That part appeals to me. Uh, we'll eventually hopefully get to uh, enough support on the channel to uh, have a multiplayer server for you, me, and everyone, you know. That'll be great, man, when we get there. Uh, but the... The scope and the scale of the game is important to me, and I kind of like the scope of the game to be about like it is now. Like, I can only haul so much stuff home, uh, tools are limited, food is limited, and everything kind of has to be... i uh, going to get, get my hands dirty on all the processes required uh, to live. And yeah, we're definitely just exploring the overworld, is what we've ended up doing here, and that's okay. Always good to... Uh, see new places and generate new areas to uh, later consider building in or get resources from i think we're gonna try and sleep yeah but uh i don't think i don't think that uh minecraft was ever like in the in the beginning of the game it was never really designed for um well i guess you could always make giant constructions but like they doubled the the depth i think they doubled the skybox height as well and we've got people carrying around you know thousands and thousands of blocks of supplies and shulker boxes uh, which is interesting. Ooh, foxes. But it's not... Uh, it is interesting, but it's also because of how the inventory works, where your boxes just open more of these and you do a lot of clicking, unless you use mods. Uh, it also adds uh, tedium to the game that's not broken up by further exploration, resource gathering, trips back to home, and all of that. And the more I've watched myself play it, the more it's like, oh man, I am I'm going through the progression, but I am going through slow, and that's fine. So that's just kind of how I am and how I've been playing. But when you have access to, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of blocks, you don't have to go get any more. And I think that misses out on part of the essential, like, for me, the essential feedback loop of the game. You know, earn the blocks that you use to build has kind of been, I've said that before, but that is, uh, it's become apparent that that's, that's actually just part of, like, my gameplay style of how I enjoy the game still, is that having to go out and wanting to go out and explore caves or the overworld uh is an integral part of my enjoyment <clears throat> and so too like i've seen people flying around with the wings and when you fly around with the wings uh one it does cost resources so unless you have a uh, a creeper farm or something to help fuel those rockets every playthrough you are gonna run out uh and the wings themselves have durability you have to get mending on them which lets them self-repair so you Ignore one of the loops of the game, which is that weapons and tools break and things are not forever, uh, which doesn't appeal to me. And the speed of travel with the wings, you'll miss things. Like, we would never have heard the sheep go bang. However, uh, you know, the argument is also like, I've seen, a I've seen all the mobs. I've seen what the game has to offer, so I'm just looking, flying for specific features. And that is uh, fair, and that is one way to optimize. I really like this, uh, do we even call it a mountain? Is it a cliff? A mesa? I don't know what the term is for this hilarious, like, shape. It almost looks like the top of an anchor, and the sweep of one half of the anchor, and then just whatever this is on the right. Uh, so going going slowly and taking the time to uh, appreciate and really engage with a lot of the game's mechanics appeals to me, and that's kind of how I play, and why I haven't really been rushing to uh, 
or even really trying to get to, uh, you know, the end or the nether to get the various like tool upgrades and other unique things. Uh, I really have zero interest in like complex combat in the game. I don't care about fighting bosses uh, or going to like the Hall of Trials. None of that interests me on a moment by moment gameplay level. Ooh, sand. So something we've been in short supply of back at home has been glass for those windows on the second floor. But it looks like we finally got in here and over there we've got sand. So I'm gonna stop and get some of this. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, you should think about uh, how you enjoy your games and what, uh, you know, what what is it that you enjoy and uh, don't don't optimize all of that away. If you like, you know, having to earn your rockets for your thing by hunting down creepers in caves, do that. Don't feel, uh, don't give in to any kind of pressure from watching like other people play that you should play their way. Oh my god, is that a turtle? Is he even going this slowly? I walked between those trees, I walked right past this awesome turtle. I can't believe we got turtles in the game now. Can I ride you? Oh god, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just wanted to get a little... little time here of me with the turtle that'll make a good oh yeah we do like this maybe that'll make a good like opening shot to the video i learned recently you can turn the hud off with f1 makes it way easier to get those nice pictures but yeah consider how you uh enjoy the game the most and if you don't know how you enjoy the game what are you doing here what are you playing minecraft for figure it out experiment try stuff uh, and optimize for something, pro preferably like whatever whatever you call fun or enjoyment, uh, which themselves are kind of ephemeral, ghostly terms. But uh, yeah, if you're not if you're not enjoying the game or getting something out of it for yourself, then play differently or play a different game. Uh, don't burn out. That's also another big thing. Is like I if I'm not happy with the idea of doing a particular thing in game on a given day, I don't do it. Uh, which is also true of a lot of life tasks, like if I still have, you know, clothes in the drawer and I don't feel like doing laundry, I'm not doing laundry. Uh, and then when push comes to shove and I'm out of clothes, then, well, now it's time to do your own laundry whether I like it or not. But games don't need to have that kind of, um, well, what would we call it, uh, a necessary need impulse to them. Because they're games, they're for entertainment and relaxation and a little bit of a escapism from how the world feels uh, and so on. Man, there's like blue... Where are those blue flowers? Hey, ah, jump! You should make a boat. Which would let me travel faster. And see? And that's, we're right back to elytra wings. And like, hmm, I've been here already, so I don't mind traveling hyper fast through the water. But seeing it for the first time, definitely, uh, I like doing that on foot for now. Part of this is that I used to play The Long Dark a lot, which is a game where you have to walk basically everywhere. All the time. So most of the gameplay is just, like, scenic never seen a frog in game yet here we are they've added so many mobs i don't think most of the new mobs drop like much in the way of interesting loot which is fine there they can just exist as a uh, flavor although i do the more entities moving entities you add to minecraft the more uh the more undefined behavior the game can produce so i don't think adding them willy-nilly is necessarily a good thing that's the other reason why i'm not uh you may have noticed I've not sought out a village. I, I have zero interest in dealing with villagers or making houses for them or any of that, uh, just because that was never how I played this game to begin with, and I've never been excited for them even when they were added. And having watched people played with them, playing with them in a variety of ways, like I think the coolest thing I've seen done is like going to a village and rebuilding their houses into something nicer or more rational than what they have. That's probably the coolest thing. We might do that, but the whole trading system and all of that, uh, it's not for me. And it's good that I've figured out what parts of the game are not for me. Uh, but, you know, the other the other side to this coin of, like, figuring it out and making decisions and, you know, all of that, is that uh, no one is under any obligation to be the same person that they were five minutes ago. You can change. Uh, like, I have a bunch of sand now. And I could change and turn around and walk home. But so too, maybe later on I will enjoy going to the end and getting the wings and fighting bosses and sticking villagers in little boxes to make them spit out loot whenever I want. Maybe, maybe I will change. That looks like sand up there that's got, and it doesn't look like any of it is hanging. Just wondering, like, can I go over there and punch a block and just watch most of this crumble?
And maybe, oh, and another, oh, that piece looks like it's almost floating in the distance, but it's actually not floating. There's one connecting block. I'm curious how rare those bits, like we have at home, where the uh, block is floating are, how rare those are. And then we have an underwater cave, which is probably like guaranteed death. I think you can make potions of water breathing. Uh, that requires, I think, blaze rods for the alchemy, the alchemy widget. See, and there's a thing that we might go to the nether for just to get the thing. Um, if it proves too painful, I might, I might do it on a lower difficulty. I don't know. I'm, I feel like, uh, having fought in the caves, I feel like I'm actually pretty good at the, or that the combat is, the new combat is still pretty easy. Uh, but I don't know. We'll, we'll explore that later. I'll at least try fighting them and see if that feels like a decent amount of challenge or not. I'm not gonna refuse to try the new thing. Definitely gonna be open to it and, uh, and then make a decision after I've tried it, in this case. Obviously, there are many things in life that you just probably shouldn't try, uh, but mobs in Minecraft, pretty low stakes. Nothing to lose but items and time. Nighttime, but we're not. Okay, but we're at about the right amount of time for a chunk of editing and for, uh, for like an episode, so I'm gonna keep walking home and uh, leave you here for now. We got the sand. We can do uh, do windows next episode, maybe for home. Oh, and there's our little floating lump. So I now know where I am. That's another. Oh gosh, one more thing before I go. That's another thing about walking the ground like this is that you get. Uh, hopefully, you get better at navigating, even in these like situations like here, where it's like, hmm, I don't know. Uh, there are no landmarks down in this valley, but once I get up there, I'll know, and I can gauge how far off of my. Uh, my desired path of travel I am. And that kind of having to navigate like this in, in games with visual landmarks, even ones you build yourself, has kind of been uh, lost to a degree, I think. Like, we, we all, we've all got the games with, like, the quest arrow. Uh, and I don't know, maybe in, like, Skyrim, can the quest arrow be turned off? That kind of thing. I played Elder Scrolls back in Morrowind, where there was no, uh, there was no quest arrow, you just kind of had to wander around and figure it out and by gosh the wilderness was wide and mostly empty but anyway uh, we can talk about bethesda games another time uh if you have uh, any questions for me about anything let me know in the comments i will at least read them and perhaps decide to answer them uh also just feel free to say hi the uh, hall of comments has many more spaces for more people so let me uh immortalize you and thank you for your attendance by putting you in there and I will catch you all in the next one. Enjoy your day. This has been Ducky. Thank you for watching.